One of the things that made us select this particular RV was its nice outside entertainment unit. However, it's not really very practical because you can't even see the TV hardly in the daytime. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. There are several products on the market. There are some shades, there are some UV screens, there are some glare screens, uh, even some liquid in some cases. So I'm going to see if I can improve things uh, with this TV. Now the real option is to go out and buy a $2,000 daylight viewable TV, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money in this RV. Well, I bought this glare screen from a company called glarestopper.com and they claim a 90% reduction in glare. When you order this, you have to put the height and width in on your TV and they actually custom cut it for the size of your TV. Now this is a 29 inch diagonal TV. Of course, you know, they're all measured diagonally. You know, it's around $45. So it's not a cheap thing to try, but we'll see. And when I received the glare screen, it came in this cardboard mailer and we got a squeegee. And then we have the screen itself that's wrapped up. This looks to be a nice thick piece of plastic. And there are uh, markings on here. It says front and back. So we'll set it on here and see. Look at that. It, and, and I allowed about one eighth of an inch, and I guess that's about what they gave me. And they recommend using a TV safe cleaner, and this is an OCD TV screen spray made by GE. And I also have a microfiber cloth, so I'm going to clean the whole front end of this. And the way they recommend doing this is to leave this on and then to remove part of it at one end and then working the way across. I don't know how well this is going to show up video wise, but you know, hopefully uh, we can at least demonstrate how we're doing it. Well, there are a couple bubbles in here. I couldn't get them all out. Just a couple small ones. And the instructions does say that you probably won't get them all out. And if there are small ones, not to really worry too much about them because they won't show. And it's just going to be impossible to get all the bowls out. And since I went to all the trouble of removing this TV, I'm going to put a quick disconnect in the coax so that any future times I want to remove the TV will be a little easier. So in the end, even though that I couldn't get all the bubbles out, uh, actually, it does look like it's uh, improved the uh, contrast much, much better in the TV. And I mean, it's, it's turned a little bit overcast since I did the first video this morning, but not that much so. And I mean, I can see a big difference. You're just not going to be able to get all the bubbles out. And on the other hand, you really don't see them uh, from this normal distance. So it's really something that's more function over beauty. You know, you're going to have some bubbles. There's just no way around it. I mean, I tried and tried. You get the dust off, and as soon as you put it on, there's dust back on it again. So it's a couple hour process to get everything really right. In the end, is it worth $45? I don't know.